Alright, so now that we know how to create a really basic menu, let's start spicing this up a bit. And actually, instead of these settings, these are kind of weird. I'm just going to give it new titles. I'll just say like a uh, new open save. I'll just give it some real basic ones just for this demo. <coughs> oh, whoop and cough. Or is it kennel cough? I don't know. Alright, and uh, let me give it two more. So settings and exit. So now we have a file menu and it has five different options in it. Might as well just run it and show you guys. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. But check out this one. See, this one has cool separators, these little lines. And the reason that you may have separators is it's to group related items together. So if this was all for like, um, you know, your projects and these were settings and these were for saving, well, let's learn how to create those. All right. So say that uh, I want a separator between save and settings. Well, what I can do is I can actually add a new item. Now, these separators are menu items just like these are. So this is item, this is item, this is item. And these separators, you add them just like regular items. So if I do this the real lazy way, instead of a new menu item, which is a little chunk of text that you can click you call new separator menu item pretty creative naming convention and now we have a separator line between save and settings and I'll put another one between settings and exit so we now have this item this item this item a separator item settings and then exit alright looking a little bit better but uh you know, a little problem here. Whenever I click these, isn't uh, something supposed to happen? Well, that would be nice. So let me show you guys how to implement that. So basically, whenever you want to add an action, in other words, the functionality that you actually click the item and something happens, it's better to set it up like this. I'll show you guys how to do it the proper way. So you call menu item, and I'll just make that new um, file, whatever it's called, just new. So new file, set this equal to new, menu item, new. All right. So after this, just like any button or anything else, the menu item, what we're going to do is we're going to say set on action. Now whenever we click it, just like a button, it emits an event and we can capture it using a lambda. So someone's texting me in the middle, or no, actually that's an email. Let me check it. Huh. All right. Credit card sign up. Definitely hop on that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say whenever the user clicks new, that menu option, then I'm just going to print something out on the screen. But obviously you would want to, you know, open up a file dialog or project and have them, you know, do whatever you want. But too lazy for all that. So system out print line. And this is just going to print out in the terminal, uh, create a new file. All right, looking good. Now, of course, we have the menu item and we have an action tied onto it, but we didn't actually add it to the file menu yet. So file menu, get items, add, and then you just add the name of the menu item. So now let me go ahead and run this and check it out. And let me expand this. All right, so we got our file just like before. These, of course, still don't do anything whenever I click save or anything, but look what happens whenever I click new. It now runs that little bit of code. And again, you would probably want to do something other than just printing crap out on the screen, but that's what I did. So, you know, don't judge me, bro. Now, actually, let me show you guys a other cool little trick. Let's create a brand new menu. So we have file menu. Let's create this edit menu right here. All right, so I'll say edit menu. And all right, do I want to copy this? Nah. All right, menu, I'll just name it edit menu. Set it equal to new menu. And of course, the text on this is going to be edit. Now, you see how you have underlines right here. Let me compare and contrast. See, whenever I created my menu in JavaFX, it just had the word file, 
but this one right here it has an underline under the word F now the reason that it does that is because if I hold down alt and press F that file opens it's kind of like a shortcut for the user so wouldn't it be cool if we could do that in JavaFX well we can't so moving on I'm just kidding we can actually do that too if you put an underscore right before the title of the file then whenever you run this it's gonna treat it as a shortcut so in other words what this allows the user to do is if they hold down alt and press E on their keyboard and it's gonna open it up for them so you know some people are way too lazy to move the mouse way up here so <laughs> we'll make it real easy for them and uh, yeah let's just go ahead and add some items now so edit menu let me just add some fake items so it doesn't look blank uh, get items add and I'll just say new menu item what's in edit that look kinda of boring so I'll just say like cut copy paste cut copy and zip paste alright so now let me just add it to the menu bar so now our menu bar has a file menu and an edit menu and let me run this bad boy and check it out so since we added that underscore watch what happens whenever I hold down alt I'm gonna hold down alt and we now see that there's an underline under the letter E indicating that if I hold E or excuse me if I click E then it opens for me and of course it doesn't work with F click an F right now nothing happening so if you ever want to give the user the shortcut then that is what you do now one other thing that I want to show you guys is this sometimes let me see if I can find any alright so sometimes you have options that are grayed out for example you see this menu item next edit location well whenever I hover over it nothing happens I can't click it or I can click it but nothing happens whenever I do sometimes you want an option that's grayed out for whatever we reason I'll show you guys how to do that and it's actually called disabling the menu item so let me just do it with like this paste right here so you see how we can click paste right now let me disable that so build it the right way so menu item and actually let me do this so menu item I'll call it paste and the text will be paste and usually whenever I click it I'll just write like um pasting uh, some crap now if I add it to the edit menu then everything should work fine right now so now what I can do is I can hover over edit paste and it'll print out something on the screen alright good to go but now you know what the user is pasting too much crap I really want to disable this button for him well what I can do is I can get that menu item and I can call set disable and set this equal to true so now whenever I run this the paste button will still be there but it'll be disabled so now whenever I try to click it as you can see it's grayed out before but I'm gonna try to click it I don't know if you guys can hear me click my mouse but nothing is happening so if you ever want to toggle that back on through code you're gonna have to change it to false and then you can paste again but I'm actually just gonna delete or I'll leave it right now for uh, whenever I post this on github but uh, there you go in the next tutorial don't know what I'm gonna be covering but probably some more stuff with the menu so see you then